Good morning, everyone. I hope you're well. I just thought I'd share this story with you, which is an exclusive for The Sun on Sunday, which is hitting the newspapers this morning. It's only just come out, but have a look at this. Out of control. I'll take dramatic action to stop channel migrant crisis after 30,000 boats reach UK this year, says Sweller Braverman. Well, actually, it's over 32,000, approaching 33,000. And Sweller Braverman, I've renamed you Sweller, wave the men in. But what have you got to actually tell us? As usual, when I do a newspaper review, don't read it out like a story, but just react to certain parts about it. New Home Secretary Suella Waif the Benny in last night admitted the channel migrant crisis is out of control. No, Sherlock. More than 30,000 have arrived in dinghies on our shores this year, 10 times the total in 2018. Yep, and it's getting worse. So it goes on. Mrs. Waif the Men In has vowed to take dramatic action and change controversial laws to stop illegal immigrants playing the system. Top of her list is reforming the Modern Slavery Act so it's easier to boot out channel migrants and foreign criminals. In her first interview since getting the top cabinet job, she also admitted some police forces have been captured by woke groups and pandered to political correctness. Bang on the money, Suella, bang on the money there. You're right. You're completely right. She vowed to cut immigration numbers despite moves by PM Liz Trust to let more high-skilled foreigners into Britain to boost growth. Speaking exclusively to The Sun on Sunday on the eve of the Tory Pie conference in Birmingham, she promised to get tough on law and order. Good luck with that darling. Good luck with that. We know it's out of control. We see it on our high streets. We see it in these hotels. We see it, for example, Hafton at a barrack. It's just one example of a rapist who came over from Eritrea on a boat and was sentenced to 10 years. We see it every single day. Our towns becoming absolute cesspits from all of these chances Illegals, chances, and illegals coming over on our shores. Miss Wave the Men In said there's a crisis on the channel and it's been going on for far too long. Uh, you think? There have been huge attempts to try and stop the problem and I feel that we're at a stage now where we need to take dramatic action. What do you mean you think we're at the stage now where we need to take dramatic action? Last year, we had 29,000. Yeah, this year, we're over 32,000. At what point, at what stage do you actually think, okay, we need to take a bit of dramatic action now? Or are you just going to keep putting them up in hotels and keep putting them up in um, HMOs and, well, houses of multiple occupancy with Serco paying all the bills and all the rent and all of the food bills and all of the repairs and everything like that? Swell away for men in? I don't know. So the problem has got out of control for a variety of reasons. She said the problem has spiraled for a variety of reasons, including the Modern Slavery Act brought in by Theresa May to stop exploitation, which is being abused. Right. I don't think that you're actually getting the uh, uh, grasp of this. Modern Slavery Act is nothing to do with the actual amount of people that are coming in. Sure, they might claim that they're being slaves, but then why are they paying 10,000 odd pounds to actually get into a boat if they were slaves? Doesn't make any sense to me. But let's carry on. Miss Waithaman in added, what's happened is that the aims and the structure of that legislation have been completely distorted. Now what we're seeing is a majority of people coming here from Albania, some 80%. Oh, like I said, Albania is not a war-torn country. It's not had a war on Albanian land for 27 odd years. Of the people coming across on small boats are claiming to be victims of modern slavery. Really? Really? You couldn't make this up. 
carry on. That's regardless of the fact that they may have paid tens of thousands. I said this. That might be that they have made tens of thousands of pounds for the privilege of being so-called a modern slave. That's also regardless of the fact that they will actively sought to come to the UK through an illegal, illicit and dangerous method. So it's being abused. Yes, it is. If that's the case, it is being abused. She also warned that foreign paedophiles, murderers and other convicted criminals are abusing the law to block their deportation. Right. Suella, <clears throat> you can get a flight from Albania to London. Easy. Easy. And you have to use a passport for it. Why do you think that the majority of these young fighting age males are tossing their passports and their phones, but keeping their SIM cards, by the way, into the sea, because what are they fleeing from? Are they criminals? Are they drug trafficking gangs and, uh, you know, people smuggling gangs? Yeah, of course, of course. But yeah, we can't do this because of the bleeding heart liberal lefty lawyers and the bleeding heart liberal lefties such as Care for Calais and Kent Refugee Action Network are actually facilitating it. And as you saw from my video in Dungeness, for example, Here's a bottle of water. Here's some shoes, right? Okay, oh, I will make it all really nice and cozy and comfy and everything for you. Welcome, 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 welcome. No. Us indigenous Brits are getting fed up to the back teeth with this. So it goes on. It goes on a little bit more. It's really no bar that you have to cross. Look, look, that, there you go. That's Dungeness right there. Modern slavery. I'll put a link to this article in the description. Basically, what Suella Wave the Men in is saying is that she wants to reform the Modern Slavery Act in order to send people back. Really, no mention of Rwanda, which which is basically they were like like talking into the wind because that was just like you know it was it was never going to happen in the first place, and and you guys know that. So, this is an exclusive on The Sun on Sunday, the eve before the Tory party conference. I'll put a link to this in the description. Have a read and um, let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon. All right, guys. Have a good day. Bye for now.